Well, in health, uh, the International Conference on AIDS and Sexually Transmitted Infections in Africa is ongoing in Abidjan, Ivory Coast, uh, this week. Fiorist Lino Madu is covering the week-long high-level gathering on health. She joins us now from Abidjan. Hey, Lino. Thank you, Vincent. A lot is happening here at ICASA 2017, the International Conference on AIDS and STIs in Africa. One of the highlights is the attendance of some of the key players on the fight against HIV AIDS. One of them is Senegalese researcher, Professor Suleiman Mboup. He is joining us. He discovered the HIV-2 virus in 1985. Professor Mboup, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. Tell us the main difference between the HIV-2 virus uh, versus the HIV-1 virus. I would like to just raise some uh, historical issue regarding the discovery of this virus. It was a partnership between uh, the Senegalese University, where I was practicing, Cheikh Ante Diop University, two universities in France, Tours and Limoges, and Harvard School of Public Health. Discovery came after a survey of female sex workers in Senegal, because I was working before on STIs in this population. And what were some of the main characteristics of the HIV-2? Yeah, when we try to identify this virus, what we call at that time confirmatory test, we compare the reactivity in two different strains of virus, uh, simian virus and human virus, and what we saw was the reactivity was more closer to the simian virus than the human virus, meaning a human virus but closer to simian. We established a cohort in these female sex workers to study the natural history of this virus first and also the geographic distribution. For the geographic distribution, we make survey in most of the countries surrounding Senegal in West Africa and in some countries in Central Africa. And the discovery was it was a virus localized mainly in West Africa. And even if there was some uh, cases, they was all related in West Africa. Moving forward uh, in 2017, when you look at the impact of uh, HIV-2, uh, on the global fight against HIV AIDS. What can you tell us in terms of the, the challenges in, in prevention and treatment? Uh, due to uh, the, this uh, different uh, research and discovery, we find different properties of this virus, geographical distribution, but also rate of disease development was lower for this virus. For okay. example, after 10 years of follow-up, 90% at that time of the cohort HIV-1 developed AIDS while only 10% uh, of HIV-2. So the difference in disease progression. Okay. There was also a, dif a difference in transmission. Uh, HIV-1 uh, is more transmissible than HIV-2 okay. uh, sexually and even from mother to child. For example, the rate at that time without treatment was 30% for HIV-1 while 5%. So difference of properties, meaning that over time, uh, we have seen decline of HIV-2 and increase of HIV-1. Uh, wow. So does this mean that uh, treatment is different for each virus? Uh, there are some uh, combinations that work on both viruses, okay. but there are some specific drugs that are not working on HIV-2, meaning that you need to differentiate those two viruses before putting people on treatment. But uh, also there have not been real studies to really study the difference between treatment on those different viruses. We know that it works, but we don't have all the details. Uh, all the details. So, and those kind of studies can only be conducted in West Africa. So research is obviously something that you focus on. You are the president of IRSF, which is the Institute of Health Research, Epidemiological Surveillance and Training. Uh, can you tell us briefly what the Institute does? The Institute, as you mentioned, is doing health research in general, but also on training and capacity building. And also it's a public health. And the aim is really to uh, allow people to 
be in an environment where you have multi skills, but also where people can conduct their research in Africa. Professor Mbu, thank you so much for joining us here in Abidjan during ICASA. Thank you for inviting me. We appreciate your time. Thank you. <laughs> and that was Professor Suleiman Mbu. He is a researcher who discovered the HIV-2 virus in, two, in 1985. Back to you, Vincent.